Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a Zodiac Energy reading for you, Capricorn, for the right now. So whenever you come across this video, that is when you are meant to see it. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn. <clears throat> <clears throat> expect powerful change and look at the bigger picture Ooh, Capricorn you know what I just got that card in Sagittarius and it was a huge reading so and a new romantic cycle begins on the bottom but let's see look at the bigger picture and expect powerful change so something is coming in for you some kind of big change for you and something you need to kind of rise above with your perspective kind to kind of uh, just rise above feeling let's see the stingray, the lizard, and the tiger. Look at that. So you are feeling very fiery. You're feeling um, very chameleon-like. Maybe you have been wearing a lot of hats, kind of people-pleasing, and um, but it's building up on you. You're really starting to feel that pressure, and you're ready to pounce on something. So let's see what that's all about for Capricorn. Mm, that's interesting. I'm a Capricorn moon, so I'm always interested in what comes across oh look at that scorpion on the bottom so you are ready to pounce you are ready to sting and uh get something get something you've been holding back a little bit here i can feel that but something big is coming some kind of powerful change is coming for you so just need to rise above the uh debate or the argument or whatever you're finding yourself in right now capricorn oh these cards are really trying to fly nine of cups so it's some kind of wish fulfilled so it's some way that you're wanting to express yourself i think you're you're building up you're thinking about how to say this how to do this you're really trying to prepare for this so you're going to make it happen a big big change is coming for you and it's going to be very powerful messenger of earth there is some kind of message about money coming in here so as soon as you find your voice as soon as you speak your truth that's going to really pay off for you so maybe this is a workplace rating i'm not quite sure yet let's see what is going on in your mind? What is going on for Capricorn? What are you thinking about? Some kind of new cycle, some kind of new inspiration, new idea coming into you. This is a, a action card, the Ace of Wands, a new beginning, a new action on your part. That's gonna bring in a very powerful change for you. And it's a big, big change. It's the end of a cycle, the beginning of a new cycle. The world comes out too. So you know that this cycle is ending and that you're starting something new here. And it's going to take some action. It's going to take some movement on your part. <clears throat> so yeah, look at the broader perspective here. Think about um, the pros and the cons of this decision or this this way you want to go, this, this newness that you're moving into. And um, yeah, this is big. This is really big, Capricorn. <laughs> Huge with that karmic world coming out there. Oh my God, and look at all these major arcanas. Wow. Capricorn this is friggin huge so the Hierophant comes out so you're breaking down institutions I do think this might be a workplace environment here that you're thinking about moving on from you're just not seeing everything it's feeling a little cloudy so you're feeling a little defensive a little um, nervous there but these are big big changes this is a karmic change for you this is a life changing moment for you you've been in this energy for quite some time with the hanged man here so you're trying to see that broader perspective you're trying to get that enlightenment so you're hanging in there you're just like okay i'm just going to stay where i'm at i i like this money i like the people here um, but i'm not feeling like this is the place for me i'm feeling like maybe there's more for me <clears throat> and there is there is more for you there's something waiting for you there's something that's been urging you to um, move toward it to you've been getting all these signs all these omens everywhere that it's time to move on it's time to go it's time to go you're just getting these inspirations i gotta go and that's moving coming in very quickly for you that this stuck energy is going to move away from you very quickly and you're going to all of a sudden just know what to do you're going to break down these institutional beliefs of it has to be done this way or I have to do that, I have to work harder instead of um, smarter. You know, if you're feeling insecure at work, then we tend to just pull our sleeves up and just work harder instead of broadening her, our her horizons and getting our resume out there and talking to people and what do you do and, and are they looking and um, if, are you happy there? You know, you're, you're just kind of just keep working at it 
look at this this is friggin huge because you have a lot of major arcana coming in for you this is Archangel Michael this is the Archangel of truth of temperance of patience of knowing what is true and what is not you are literally carving out the lies here the deception you are literally walking through your day and you're like this person's telling me the truth this person is not you're just feeling it your energy is picking up on the truth of the matter and your heart is knowing the truth of the matter so this is you knowing this is you rising above and you seeing the broader perspective regardless of what people are trying to feed to you what people are trying to um, literally make you consume so they're trying to keep you in fear they're trying to say you can't do better there's no, nothing better for you out there this is the best it's going to get it's a lie Capricorn there is better for you out there there is balance for you out there and there is security and stability and this is a big change we all get nervous in these big big kind of changes like this but you've got one two three four five major arcana out of six cards and the sixth one is an ace so this is brand new this is huge this is huge this is a powerful change for you what else is going on in the heart of Capricorn you feel this change coming and of course another major arcana there's something better for you out there Capricorn it you are literally moments away from this big change you are moments away from reveling in the sun here from making the right choice from getting out of the stuck energy of there's nothing better for me out there and you are just stepping out into the sun into the light into the power that you know you have you're just stepping into your power here page of wands so you're really grabbing for it now you're just throwing it up you're just like what the hell there's nothing that can go wrong here because spirit is literally pushing you to make this move another major arcana with the hermit here so uh yeah you are finding your own light you're finding your own way your own path you're just not listening to these naysayers anymore you're not listening to people who are telling you that it can't be done and you shouldn't do it you shouldn't do it that's what they're telling you is is not that it can't be done but that you shouldn't do it and you know what it's this is your life to have this is your life path you have got to make the move here you've just got to make the move and step out and uh, do this you're gonna do it anyway with the eight of wands this is very fast energy sitting right underneath the very fast energy major arcana here so you're just gonna throw your your wand out there and see what happens because you're tired of playing by their rules you're tired of doing it their way and just having everything just stay so still like there's just no movement there's nothing going on and then bam this powerful change comes across and this is all spirits doing you really are being pushed to to walk away to let it go and there's bigger and better out there for you yeah this is wonderful this is beautiful this is an emotional rebirth this is uh a physical uh, rebirth too you're just going to be doing everything new here page of cups so this card is wonderful because there's an offer coming in there's something coming in for you it's something you never thought would happen something you never thought you would do or be interested in with the pigs flying there so yeah this is wonderful you are making a huge huge change here Capricorn and this is this is really exciting I feel the excitement I feel the uh, change coming for you King of Swords says you are ready for this. You have refined your communication. You are ready to uh, get out there and show the world who you are. You have the wisdom now. You have the knowledge now. You have literally manifested this with the dragon in the sky there. You have uh, believed in magic again, and that's all it took to see that bigger picture, to see that this was <clears throat> divinely guided toward you. You have uh, notice the signs you've seen the signs you have worked for this and you wanted change you really did it just feels a little uncomfortable when we're in the midst of change but when you get to the other side of it you're just going to literally be celebrating that you did it you're going to be celebrating you and you should you should because this is huge this is one of those this is one of those things you will never forget in your life like when you look back at this time you're going to look back and say yeah I did that I walked away from that job I walked away from that marriage I walked away from the toxicity that was in my life and I created my own happiness here I created my own joy my own peace and um, look what I have created look what I did and you're gonna be um, really shocked at what you did it's gonna shock you and it's gonna be um, really rewarding 
really, really rewarding. It's going to be the best thing for your well-being. Look at that, another major arcana. This is very, very huge, Capricorn. High Priestess comes in to say, we're here for you. We have been channeling this to you. We have been showing you the signs. We have been on your side. We've been urging you to do this, and um, you've been listening. You've been channeling us. You've been open to receiving us, and um, all of the illusion of the past will be gone from you. We will erase that. We will erase the confusion. We will erase the uh, the battle and we'll just let you remember the victory and the, the winning of it. And Page of Pentacles says you're standing on your own. You're standing on your own. You're balancing. You've got your own uh, way here, your own well-being to think about. And if that makes you selfish, you're going to think so be it because what people are saying when they're telling you you're selfish is you should be taking care of me. You should be making me happy. And you're going to look back and say, you know what? Yeah, I was selfish and it was the best thing I ever did. So this is wonderful. This is beautiful. And this is victory and glory and goodness. So <laughs> Yeah, you're going to be changing something here really, really big, huge with these major arcanas. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight major arcana on the board and powerful change in the ether. So this is huge, Capricorn. This is really, really huge. So let's see what this cycle is all about. What are you changing here? I'm really curious if this is a workplace reading. I mean, it just seems too big. Usually the workplace doesn't affect us so emotionally like this. So it might be some kind of relationship you've been in for a very long time that you've counted on. Queen of Cups comes in to clarify that. So yeah, it is an emotional change. Some kind of huge, big emotional change coming in for you, Capricorn. And usually, I mean, unless you're a workaholic and you've been working at a place for 30 years, it doesn't have to do with the workplace. So it has to do with some kind of big emotional change that you never thought you would do, like a, like a, uh, a Stella got her groove back type thing where you're just stepping out into your own light, into your own power, and you're just reclaiming your life here. This is what I see. You know? So it, doesn't, it could be the workplace, the love life, the family life. It could be all of the above because this is huge with these major arcana. But this is you reclaiming your life and uh, what you want, where you want to go, where you want to live. Uh, just all about you, all about Capricorn. For once, I mean, Capricorn, you've been about everybody else your entire life. Queen of Pentacles, so this is you having that independence, the resources that you've created to make this happen. This is you not counting on anyone else but you and you literally making this happen. You've got two queens here right next to each other. So yeah, this is you reclaiming your life. This is, this is wonderful. This is beautiful. Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, there's that offer coming in, some kind of financial offer, some kind of uh, offer accepted. Some, some. It's slow moving. You've been working toward this for a very long time. Probably this reclaimance of you and your independence. So this has to do with money. This is something coming in that you've been waiting for. You didn't really know it was coming with the Page of Cups down there, honestly, but it is coming. There's some kind of resource coming for you that's going to change everything the emperor so this is you reclaiming your life bossing up uh, just being the boss of your own life really transforming yourself to uh, have the wisdom have the knowledge it's not like you're going to be hurting anyone's feelings here it's not I don't see any sorrow cards here even in your external so this is you just reclaiming your life and people accepting that people living by your boundaries now living by your rules living uh people will treat us accordingly so so you will just no longer tolerate anyone being deceptive towards you or lying toward you or um you just got this archangel michael sort of truth now so the deception just is really just an afterthought here of of uh you getting your power back that's what that is saying to me instead instead of deception with the seven of swords the seven of swords can absolutely mean you're getting your power back and boy, by God, Capricorn, when I say you're getting your power back, I mean, that's an understatement of what is happening here. Not only are you getting your power back, you are yielding this power that nobody in your life saw you had. And that is just, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. I'm loving this, this power. Three of Cups, this is celebration. This is going out with friends. This is doing it your way. This is, uh, 
seven sisters in the sky in my good tarot, in my light seers tarot deck too. So you have some ancestral knowledge coming into here too, a feminine energy coming in and feeding you this power, helping you to move forward to help raise the collective here with this power of the feminine energy, whether you're masculine or feminine right now on earth, you are channeling the feminine energy to move forward in some of these battles that the feminine energy has had to overcome, had to really rise above. And so you are an integral part of that in this life path. You're an integral part of the feminine energy overcoming the suppression and the oppression that has gone on in lifetimes, not, not just right now. but um, So you're an integral part of that feminine energy moving forward and gaining uh, momentum. Yeah, when I'm talking about the feminine energy, there's the nine of swords, there's the sorrow, there's the um, the karmic lessons, really. I mean, it doesn't really have anything to do with men and women in general. It's just the energy of the feminine that has been oppressed and held back. And so you're really an integral part of that, of helping that to balance out. And so we don't want to... Um, we don't want to suppress the masculine energy to rise above. That's not what the universe wants. They want balance in this feminine masculine energy. So you're an integral part of that. You're bringing that balance forward so that there is no oppression, there is no suppression, and um, there is no um, inserting of any one energy over the other. So that's what that battle has been forever. Uh, so you are just an integral part of that. That's interesting. Ace of Pentacles, there's that uh, gift from God. That That is the big, powerful change that is coming. It has to do with money. There's something big, big monetarily coming in for you that has been stressful, has been hard. And that's just a gift from God to say, here is your reward for helping to balance this energy to help uh, to bring the collective forward into a, a broader perspective, a bigger picture perspective there on the masculine feminine uh, energy. The Hierophant, there's the Pope, there is the uh, institutional beliefs of, uh, again, with the masculine and feminine energy battle that has gone on forever. So um, there's always been a, uh, a Pope-like figure to say, let's do it this way, let's do it that way. And you're really breaking that down to say, you know what, we are all equal here. We all have the perspective here. Nobody has access to information that I don't have access to, especially when it comes to spiritual spirituality and energy. So you're trying to teach that to the world. You're trying to teach this equality, this in energies. You've really brought that forward into this reading, especially too, of we are all equal here. We all have the same perspective um, and we, we will all be born with that perspective and we will all die with that perspective of equality. And, and our life path here on this earth was to really try to manage that and to find the equality, whether that was be you being the oppressor or you being the oppressed. It was part of that karmic cycle from the old age, from the Pisces age. Now we're in this Aquarian age, and so we're trying to balance out that masculine, feminine, that war, nurturing mentality, that energy really is what it is. So you are an integral part of that, Capricorn. You are very much needed in this battle of equality. And uh, you're victorious with all of these major arcana. <laughs> wow. So you're probably finding that in your own life path that you are really when you're stepping out and finding this independence and this happiness and joy of yours that it is an equal partnership i saw that partnership coming through that equality coming through in your own life so you're really navigating toward a job that treats you equally as a, as a partner rather than as an employee you're finding a relationship that treats you equally rather than a um an imbalance there so that's really beautiful two of wands so you're planning to take this out there into the world you, this is going to go viral for you you're really integral in this battle between the masculine and the feminine and, you're, and this equality that you're finding this balance that you're finding so that you can help others find it and move forward with that through the ages so wow that's very powerful capricorn that is very powerful there's the finish line there's the four of wands that is the uh the I did it at least in your lifetime and with this karmic lesson of equality you you are really moving forward with this this is a huge huge uh, victory for you and you should be celebrating this with that partner that's treating you so equally that's coming in um, if it's been with a partner you've been with forever then they're changing too and they're realizing that that yeah there should be equality here there should be balance here there should not be one 
uh, manipulating or controlling the other and so that's how you got your power back because you're finding this partnership that's really an, an equal opportunity here and a, a workplace as well wounded warrior says you, it wasn't easy to get here it wasn't easy you had to really really fight for equality and for balance here and um, spirit is really going to reward you financially for that you're going to find yourself speaking at uh, either on social media or elsewhere and you're going to be uh, talking about balance talking about equality talking about um, not implementing laws because that just kind of defeats the purpose here but implementing a new way of thinking a broader perspective on balance and what equality means and what the masculine and feminine energies bring to the table the moon so here's that confusion that you have had been in before you stepped into all of this light and um, you had to find that balance within yourself that that masculine feminine energy within you we all have it within each one of us we have the masculine and the feminine within each and every one of us and so when we find that balance within ourself within our own life path that's when we can really bring that forward into the collective and show the collective look we can be balanced here we each bring something even within us that yin and that yang we bring within us something to the table to make this life a happy joyful life an easier life path rather than the resistance that we all come across so you are a real real integral part of this battle and um, I'm really proud of you for fighting this fight because if we could all find that balance within ourselves of the masculine and the feminine energy then we could um, bring it forward to the collective and at least that battle would be would be done and behind us in this new age that we're entering into so god that's beautiful capricorn that's just beautiful and here i am the capricorn moon so maybe i have something to do with that too i, I love this if you love this reading capricorn don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe buttons and uh, yeah people are watching you too by the way page of swords on the bottom so people are really liking this that you're bringing here they're liking this this speech that you have this communication that you have of equality because you're not playing a victim and you're not playing a martyr you're playing um, a, a strong solid voice in this um, fight between the sexes so god that's just beautiful i love that okay all right, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And I will check in with you soon, Capricorn. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Until next time.